Beavis and Butthead are not real. They are stupid cartoon people completely made up by this Texas guy who we hardly even know. Beavis and Butthead are dumb, crude, thoughtless, ugly, sexist, self-destructive fools. But for some reason, the little wiener heads make us laugh. Welcome everyone to the stream. Thank you for stopping by. I actually found... I don't think I ever got it or downloaded it. But I think I actually found the... Uh, actual... So the same video that I played... Um, a year ago. There was a... There's a pro wrestler that... I thought was interesting. I really liked her. Uh, I thought she was really good. And I recently heard that she has, uh, her mom, uh, it wants to do a tribute show for her, and I thought that was kind of awesome, so. Been thinking about Hana Kimura uh, a little bit. I'm a big pro wrestling fan, so when I heard about Hana Kimura's story, it's uh, a little sad. I think she would have been 23 years old, and she passed away, so... <sighs> and surprisingly, I was able to find all the... Uh, I was able to find the same tribute, video, uh, same tribute video I played a year ago. So I thought that was kind of awesome. Now I have it downloaded forever. Perfect. Well, if I wanted to do that. Anyway, um, yeah, so, let's see, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be playing as Sejima here, and we're basically just gonna be doing sub-stories. Um, hey Han, how you doing? Hello there, how you doing? I am doing good, all things considered, so, honestly, I'm just, like, really glad to finally just get back into streaming and things just needed a little bit of a break day off all that stuff and ever since i kind of started i'm like i'm feeling the feeling the gears turning again and 
So I still need to make up for Mother's Day weekend. I need to plan that. I don't know when, but at some point I need to do that. Um, I think it might be next week. I think I'll try and make that up. We'll probably try and do a stream on Monday and Tuesday next week, I'm thinking. So like the 24th, 25th, somewhere in there. If, if I don't do it on the 24th or 25th, I'm almost thinking, like, end of the... Thinking, like, end of the month, just, like, after the 26th. S something along those lines. I'll see what happens. I'll see what happens. We'll just say that. I'll see what happens. Um... Yeah, just kind of in the middle of just trying to flip my sleep schedule, which is why I'm streaming at this hour and not in the morning. I don't know why. I just, I just feel better in the mornings. Call me crazy. I just feel better streaming in the morning. This hour just kind of feels like I just want to wind down and relax. Also, it doesn't help that a lot of my favorite streamers are kind of on at this hour, so it's like, so I even feel like. I shouldn't be streaming right now. But, here we are. And... I think that's all I really wanted to say. So... Uh... You know what? I'm gonna check my audio. Play it safe. Turn that off. Oh, crap. I don't think I ever charged that, did I? Yeah. Damn it. Okay. Uh, I just need to check my audio real fast. Cross our fingers. Okay. Audio's good. Okay, so... Now... Let's launch the game. Oh, it feels so good. Awesome. Okay, audio is up. Not the greatest intro from Yakuza, but I still love it.
Oh, hell, my mic is muted. My bad. I didn't really say much. Oh, that's some trash right there. Or, what, keys? No, 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 they're uh, a map, right? Yeah, I think it's a map. I think I just walked right past a cop back there. And they didn't notice a thing. Sure, let's fight. Let's go. Okay. No! It's too much, you just need to kick him. Oh, that guy is afraid. Wanna get this guy. There we go. Yeah, the last guy there, he tried to get away. He tried so hard. I almost kind of feel like I need to sell off a bunch of stuff. Just out of curiosity, are we close by? Kinda... We'll wait. I feel like I need to sell some stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, why can't people ever do things right? What's wrong? I'm the Snow Festival Operation Manager. My staff pulled a bonehead move that might ruin everything. I just learned that no one ordered site maps for the visitors. If we don't order them right now, the printers won't have enough time, but... Darn it! What's keeping you? Order it now. I love to, but my memory is foggy when it comes to which snow statues are at which locations. Do we have to go over and, like, confirm all the snow statues? And I can't leave my post to go check, and my staff is too busy doing a million other things. I get it. You are... undermanned. Exactly. You understand. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe you have some spare time. Huh? I hate to impose, but would you be willing to check the snow statue locations? Me? I can't pay you, but I can give you a festival souvenir for your efforts. It shouldn't take long. And it would be a huge help. Don't know, that's asking a lot. Oh please, we are desperate. So we want so you want me to see what statues are on the site and where, right? Yes. You'll be right here when you come back. I have to be... After all. I mean, it sounds easy, but... What statues and where? I'm guessing he's talking about these statues, right? Examine? Oh! That was something else. Hmm. Is there anything else that we have to do with the guy? Is the substory confirmed? Is 
So I don't know which statues he's talking about. Let's get to know the area first. How about that? So on the northern end... Okay, so I think I know what he's gonna ask. He's gonna ask... Probably what statue is holding what. Like here we have a kid... I don't know what you would call that. Maybe like a magic wand? With a star on it, holding it in the right hand? So maybe that would be the description of that statue. And this is on the northern end, and she's on the far right. Another kid statue, kind of pointing, I guess? He's in the center. We have a dragon statue. On the far left. And I have seals in the center. I want to say we have bears eating fish. And it looks like a bunch of mushrooms. It seems to be like a bird. Got some stairs. Is that a slide, I guess? Yeah, it looks like a... There's a slide. Got big scary bear right here. I'm guessing that's a fox? That one's in the center. Maybe a penguin? I want to say a penguin. Bear, fox, penguin. Then over here we got a bunch of... Dolphins. Maybe a whale. Yeah, I think I think I have a vague idea what's what the layout is. So now that I know the layout. Also, before I check, is it bear, box, penguin? Bear, box, penguin. Yeah. Okay. I think I got it down. Give it a shot. I can tell you where the snow statues are. Fantastic. Let's get right to it. While my memory's fresh. Looking at the site from here, there's a giant slide facing the slide from the front. What's to the right? Okay, if he's talking about the southern end, the one with the slide, that would be a bear. Facing the slide to the right. Was a bear. Okay, the bear. Next one. Which snow statue is right in the middle? In the center? Wait. 
damn it. I, I wish... I wish there was, like, a better way to... kind of, like, describe the location. Because I wouldn't call... Statue is right in the middle. I would just say the center, personally. And that would be some seals. Some seals were smack dab in the middle. Oh, right. There were some seals. This is very helpful. Across from the slide, there's another... Go on a... Massive one. What did it feature? Across from the slide? Treasure ship? I want to say no. I say there's like a better way to describe the locations. It, it's kind of confusing because I know where they're located, but I don't know specifically where the point of interest that he's like referring from. Because like I'm going north, south, east, west like a compass, but this guy's saying this statue next to this statue is across from this statue, so what statue is that? And it's like, there's an easier way to do it. You could just say north, south, east, west. There's three statues in the front. Which one is on the far left? The east side. Cross from the slide. I'm gonna say a well? Oh yeah, I completely forgot about the well, even though it's so big. There's only one statue left to confirm. What was the small one next to the pigeon? Next to the pigeon? I thought that was a penguin. Oh wait, it, it does say penguin. Why did I say pigeon though? Yeah, it's a... Uh, um... Uh, fox. Right? That's where the fox is. Okay, I know the locations of all the statues now. Well, thank you very much. You can't imagine what a big help that was. You there! I'm guessing we are gonna find out about the layout right now. I got the site layout with all the statue locations. It's all on this note, so... Go have the site print... Uh, map printed. Okay? You gotta take a look at it, confirm. Understood. One of these locations isn't right. It's gotta be the first one. What was it? It was on... on site earlier, helping with setup, so I remember where at least some of the statues are. I see. I guess the gentlemen have gave me wrong information about one of the statues. Which one... Uh, so I trust for... Sorry, I haven't been given you this task. I hope you don't expect a reward. I mean, I know you put effort, but... No, forget it. I guess I got a bit confused yeah. there. 
No, no, it's my fault. I should I go take a look at them? No, I don't feel comfortable doing this anymore. Ugh. Feels bad? Sound it sounds like because I got one wrong, it's like, oh yes, yeah, forget about it. There, there's an easier way to describe the locations, my dear. There's an easier way to describe the locations, the way they want it done. It's like, no. At least in my opinion. But I kind of anticipated that a little bit. Ah, oh, crap. I was trying to get on the street so that way I could go around this guy. I think I want to try and sell some stuff. Yes! <laughs> oh, a big time shoulder block. How's our health looking? Eh, it's not too bad. We good. Okay, so I'm gonna try and head over and sell some things. This guy I gonna wanna fight? Oh, it's a victory road guy. More fighting, right? Well, that's kind of on you. What's the point of a rich guy? They do nothing. Oh my god, I finally got a platinum plane. I'm pretty sure I don't think I ever gotten a platinum plate from a rich guy.
Uh, while well, the other guys ran off. Nothing I can do. Oh, God! There was a cop just standing there? What the hell is... Dude, you can't block that! It's a cop right there! What is this? One more left. And done. Now, can you not place me right next to the cop, please? Just don't place me right next to a cop, that's all I ask. Now, I'm hoping I could cross the street over here. Yes, that's a yes. Only because it's one guy and not like a bunch of them. Get up. Feels better. I just feel like I got a ton of stuff I need to sell. Should be a... How did I overshoot my mark? Um, apparently I'm way off. So I need to head back. I love it when people are one hit. So I gotta head back because apparently this is uh, not right. Can I keep walking north? Damn it! So we have to go over here. Oh wait, but we got this cop over here. He's still gonna notice? I guess we're good. There's someone there, we will take care of it, but at the moment I want to sell some stuff. Might trigger a sub story here? What's going on? An accident. Well then. We'll take a look at the accident, but first. I want to sell some stuff. Sell. Any bronze plates, get rid of those.
Apparently we had a silver plate at some point. Should have a platinum, right? Yeah, there's there's the platinum. I don't think I want the high grade cigarettes. I feel like I could get rid of those. I think I got almost like 200 grand. So we almost have half a mil. Pretty cool. Alright, so what's this accident? A couple of trucks crashed, but no one's hurt. By the look of it. Help, can someone call the police? The police are coming. Better make myself scarce. Uh, what? What the? Oh my gosh, bear. A bear came out of the truck. It's a bear from the zoo. Everyone run, call the police. Bear, everyone move, run. Someone. Hey, over here. This one's like a teddy bear compared to Yama Orochi. Oh hell yeah! I I could take it. I could take it. Hey you, get away! What are you thinking? You. Bring it on! I don't mind you. Oh, hell yes. Let's go, bear. I think the bear tried to charge, but it couldn't. Thank you so much, you saved us! You alright? That was close. Sir, if you weren't... F if it weren't for you, this would have been a terrible disaster. I don't have the words to thank you. This isn't very much, but we want you to have this. Okay! And if you are willing, we would love for you to meet our manager at the zoo. They will want to thank you in person. Can't stick around, don't want the cops to notice me. Sorry, I gotta get going. Oh, but it's all because of you that one that no one got hurt. Yeah, but it's fine. I I'll just accept your thanks and be on my way. What a guy, he knocked out a bear just with his fist. No one will believe us. If that ha were to happen in real life, it would be legendary. People will name their kids after the man that knocked out a bear with his own fist. I'm hoping this is a restaurant over here. I might be right. Oh yeah, yeah, this is Cafe Alps. Go with some coffee. Is this the only thing on their menu? Probably is. Double checking, making sure that it's the cheapest stuff on the menu.
Both coffees look the same. Three coffees look the same. Oh god, if you like food, don't look at it. You're hungry, don't look at it. Okay, so now... I guess we could go see what's in that back alley. Okay, I kind of was... Oh, is it this guy again? That was pretty cool. Well, we need to head south. There should be... A sub-story over here? Oh god, Santa! You alright? I got beat up by a gang of Santa hunters! Oh god, that must really suck. Santa hunters, you... Look, can you just tell me if you are alright? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. Need food? Oh. Well, can you stand at least? That's a good sign. Uh, yeah, sorry to have troubled you. No worries, but what was that you said earlier? Something about Santa Hunters? They are a gang of delinquents. They make a game of beating up retail workers wearing Santa costumes. Oh, bunch of punks. Because of them, people don't consider the shopping district a safe place anymore. It ruins the festive mood entirely. Got no time for talking? Yeah, we're not doing that option. I'll give those kids a talking to it. Arden, you are going to, what, lecture them? How? They go after Santa's, right? Let me... Lend me your outfit. You are going to use yourself as bait? That's nuts. They've got close to ten kids. By yourself, you couldn't possibly... Wasn't planning on fighting them. They might just listen to reason. I doubt that. Don't worry, I, if things get ugly, uh, I'll cut and run. Don't push it. I wouldn't push it. Okay. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I want to see this. Nice! Wait, where did the beard come from? It doesn't look like it. it's a fake... That looks like a real beard. All right, this should make the Santa Hunters come looking for me. Please be careful, they carry weapons, they're not shy about using oh. them. I'll be fine. All right, let's find those so-called Santa Hunters. That was a little wonky. Oh. Hey, it's Santa! Yay! <laughs> Adorable kid. <laughs> you kids, wearing this get up around town ain't so bad. Santa, can I have a present now? What about me? Sorry, Tykes, ain't got nothing on me. At least not stuff that would make good gifts for you. 
I don't know if I would say that. I would say I'm a little busy at Santa's workshop. Yada, yada, yada. Gotta go. But if you be nice, I'll make sure to stop by Christmas. Yada, yada, yada. That's what I would say, but... And again, I... Sage was... He doesn't come off like the... Father type, so... No fair. I want a present. I want my present. Wee Santa? Oh, God. No presents. I don't got my sleigh with me. Why didn't you bring it? Look, it's Santa. I want a present. So is this how it starts? Wait, Santa? He's here? Santa, can I sit on your lap? Do you have a present for me? What the hell? Where did all the kids come from? Hey. Don't they all have parents? What the hell is this? You all gotta go home and wait until Christmas to get your presents. Hey. I can't wait that long. Oh god, you're really doing the whole please thing. Please, can I have it now, Santa? Let me go get my friends. They want presents, too. No. Oh, I bet this is how it all starts out. They say they can't do it, and then they just get all the kids together and beat them up, right? Although, I'm just thinking out loud. I'm just thinking out loud. I don't know what's going to happen next, but that's my guess. Uh, and I don't want to know. Until I see for myself. No, don't tell any... Other kids, I'm here. I just posted online where Santa is. Everyone's coming. You posted what? Santa, how come you don't have my present? I was here first. I gotta just make a break for it. Oh, God. Well, then. Looks like I got them the slip. But what about these Santa Hunters? The thing I got away from all of them. Huh? Hey Santa! Got some presents for us? Yeah. You must be the Santa Hunters. I've been looking for you. You found us. Oh, n oh Nick. And we are so happy to see you, our third Santa today. We are the town's best Christmas cowgirlers. Bashing your head in the snow in one horse open sleigh. The killing fields we go. Laughing all the way. Why are you doing this? Trust me. Why... <laughs> Why is, why is he making that pose every single time? Trust me, we are just doing what everyone else wishes they could do. Who isn't sick of all this Christmas shit every in year? I mean, to be fair, I'm perfectly fine with Christmas. The part I hate about Christmas is the shopping part. I'm just trying to get groceries and the whole time it's like... Everyone's, like, buying presents, and the whole time I'm, like, I'm just trying to buy batteries. Why is there so many people? Other than that, I'm fine with Christmas. Uh, yeah, just look at what you are wearing, man. Getting stupid. Ain't you got girlfriends or something? Shut up. Just shut the hell up. Too bad your girlfriend won't be here to... Wash the blood off of your dinky suit. Okay, so we can't reason with these people. They just want to fight. Okay, so they all have weapons. <laughs> 
put it on the glass. Oh, those were nunchucks? Well, the nunchuck kid is gonna strike again, I guess. Stop, stop. We're sorry, we're really sorry. Let me sing you a carol now. He's making a list and checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming tomorrow? <laughs> oh, the kids freaking jump in at the last... Oh, beautiful, beautiful. You kids... You, you guys deserve presents after that, for the timing purposes. You kids, like I said, I ain't got nothing for you. Come on, you are Santa. How could you not have presents? I'm out. Well, except for these things here, I guess. Oh my god, are, are we gonna give them, like, nunchucks and, like, baseball bats? Wait, those are ours! Baseball bats? Just what I want. <laughs> Sports fan, huh? Take as many as you like, then. Awesome. I want this thing over here, Santa. Nunchucks? <laughs> Nunchucks. You like Kung Fu? Yeah, I watch Kung Fu movies all the time. Yeah. Bravo, bravo. I, I just I just want to stand and applaud right now. Not my nunchuck. <laughs> they cost me a fortune. Seems fair to me. The kids could use some real Christmas cheer after you taking it from them all season. If you got a problem with that, I'm all ears. Your call. It's okay. Go ahead. Little bros, take all you want. Oh god, the kids are gonna mu- Oh, that, that would make it so much better if the kids actually take their weapons and start mugging them. Oh my god, that would be hilarious. <laughs> yeah, this is the... Yay, this is the best Christmas ever, thanks Santa. I could get used to this... Santa gig. Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, this is beautiful. I love it. I love it. <sighs> the greatest. The greatest. That sounded like a woman's voice. What's going on? Little... Oh god, she's wearing white. That could be a story. Little lady, what's wrong? You look like you are gonna faint. Whenever I see someone in white and she looks really pale, I think I know where this is going. Okay, do you know... Uh... Matsuo... Lamb barbecue, it's a restaurant. You wanna you know where it is? Yeah. No, I know where it is. I checked online. So what's going on? Why are you so unsteady on your feet? I've been fasting a real long time because I'm getting ready to eat the best lamb barbecue ever. Any empty stomach is the best seasoning. Nuts to that. I, I'm trying my best not to predict what's about to happen in my head right here, but she's pale. She's what? 
her face look there, there's no color to that skin you because like Sejima you, you look at Sejima you know he's kind of you know lighter skin but you know there, there, there's color there she's pale as hell and she's wearing white I already have an idea where this is going I'm trying my best not to think what's about to happen next I want to just turn it off and just see what happens Nuts to that, I thought you were in trouble. That's it? Wait, please. Could you take me to Ratsu Barbecue? I'm not sure I can stand up straight much longer. Fine, where is it? On... Naka, I'm gonna say Naka Tatsu Street. Not Naka Tatsui. Not Natsu Cat. Natsu Natsu Katsu Ki Street. All right, I'll take you there. It's nearby. Oh, thank you very much. Terrible with Japanese names. I try. This is it, right? Matsuo Lamb Barbecue. Yes, finally, I can enjoy the legendary lamb barbecue. Alright, little lady. Mind if I go now? He's gonna want us to eat dinner, right? Wait, let me treat you to dinner. Hold it. As thanks for bringing me here. No need for that. Haven't fallen so low that I'd let a young person feed me. Please, aren't people your age always asking people to show more gratitude? I mean... A little bit of a point? All right, nice comeback. Wonderful. My name is Mami Yamashita. Mami Yamashita. I'm a food journalist. So you are eating here for your job. <laughs> oh no. This is more this is my private time. So there's no problem with me treating you. All right, then. Sejima. Let's not waste any time, Sejima-san. The lamb barbecue here is legendary. The lambs are selected from the best flock in New Zealand, and sauce is made according to a secret recipe that took 10 years to perfect. Everyone says this place blows its competitors away. You know all about the joint before a single bite. Well, its reputation is why I've been fasting since yesterday. You said you were fasting a long time. One day ain't a long time. Planting seeds, planting seeds. Maybe it's the lighting, but now there's more color to her face. But I'm, but she's still in white. I I think something's up. Sejima son, why don't you let me order for the both of us? I've done all the research. All right then, it's on you, little lady. So this is the famous lamb barbecue. It smells good. Just hearing that sizzle is making me hungry. <laughs> Don't hold back. Let's see. Great stuff. Lamb ain't even gamey. Isn't it amazing? The league's beyond other places with lamb barbecue. Yum, this was so... Worth the fast. I could keep eating this forever. 
I bet you can forever. She's still going. Incredible. So good. Done yet? I gotta go. Though I'm amazed uh, at how you can put it away. <laughs> this is normal for me. I used to eat about three big bowls of right of just rice. I love rice. Oh yeah? By the way, Sejima, what do you do for work? Well, this and that. I see. As she eats more? What about you? You a food journalist full-time? Unfortunately, no. I also do some acting, like in TV dramas. Well, that's interesting. I'm not a big star or anything, but I like it, and I also want to do voice acting eventually. May I ask you something? It's important. Wait, is it... Come on. Spit it out. I think I might order more barbecue. Do you mind? How? Planting seeds. Planting seeds. That was... Absolutely fabulous. I'm never happier than when I'm eating good food. You okay with springing for dinner? Of course. I ate most of it, after all. Point? I almost forgot. What? Would you tell me the tasty thing you've eaten recently? Didn't we order the same food? What do you mean? It's something I always ask whenever I meet someone new. That's how I found out about Matsuo barbecue, uh, Lamb Barbecue. This question has led me to so many delicious food discoveries, so I'm recently going to keep asking it. Are you talking about the food that we just ate, or are you talking about the food I had before? Or meeting you. I got you. All right. The tastiest thing recently? Well, it had to be deer stew. Deer stew? I never had that. I had it in this one hunting village. Oh, yeah, I remember. Got lost in a blizzard. Yep. And the man who saved me gave me some. Best meal of my life. When you're close to death, the next thing you eat is probably going to be priceless to you. What does it taste like? No, I heard deer had a particular odor to it. But all I know is this stuff smelled great. Could have been the mitzo, I guess. They don't boil the deer meat all the way through. They serve it while it's nice and tender. The whole thing was fantastic. I, w I wouldn't be surprised if some of the meat that people eat, like, I want to say there's almost like, I wouldn't be surprised if meat actually tastes better, like, when the kill is, like, recent. I wouldn't be surprised if the meat's a little bit more... Well, it's as fresh as you could get, because the kill was just, you know, minutes ago. Hours ago. A brand new flavor. One I've never tried before. I can't wait to taste it. Well, next time I'm on the mountain... Oh, please tell me we're going back. I'll hunt you some deer. It will be my thanks for the lamb barbecue. Yeah. If we could find a taxi, I could probably prove that theory right now. No, no, that would take too long. Once a dish is in my 
mind, I want it in my stomach too, as soon as possible. You mean now? But we just ate. <laughs> I can always find room for new flavors. No time to waste. Thank you very much, Sage my son. I'm heading up the mountain for some deer stew. Are you serious about going up the mountain? No, can't be. No one's that extremely foodie they are, are they? Oh, dude. Dude. Please tell me there's a taxi nearby. And it is down south? Can we go up on the mountain already? Oh my god, we can't go to the village. Oh. Oh, that is fantastic. I love that. Well. Um. I mean, she said she's going to the goddamn village now. I don't want to head right now, right now. But I do want to check, though. I think, uh, there's actually a taxi, and... By the way, with all the items we picked up with the... Looks like they are color-coded. Okay. There is so many people I gotta fight here, so... You wanna fight? We're not done. We still have to fight again. Yep. Apparently there was no break. We just go right into this fight now. Any more people to fight? Any more people to fight? Might as well. Let's do this. Just looking to fight, apparently. Victory Road? Straight punks.
No! Ah, he escaped. I was trying to keep everyone in. There we go. I, I was... I just kept my eye on him. I was like, I, I don't want him to run off. Don't want him to run off. Ah, he ran off. Everywhere I go, there's just tons of people just waiting to fight. Waiting to fight. We want to fight. Okay, see, she says she's at the mountain. Let's just see about this. Let's just see about this. Who knows, maybe we'll also get a sub-story for coming back. Sejima, just the kind of guy we need. What's wrong? This weird girl came up from... Tsukumino. I think she started to scale the mountain by herself. Oh, we have to... I have to see this. I have to see this through. What happened exactly? She was saying things like, The deer stew is calling me. Her eyes were all bloodshot, too. Kind of scary looking. It can't be the lamb barbecue girl. She actually came up here. If you are going up the mountain, maybe keep an eye out for her. Oh, we're, we're going to keep an eye out for her. I'm really hoping she didn't go up there, but no one saw her leave by the other route. I'm worried. I wouldn't count on her giving up. Not when there's food involved. I'm looking forward to it. Look, uh, looking forward uh, to helping her. Uh, thank you, Sejima. Yeah, we have to see this. I have to see this. Oh, just go right into it? We don't have to trigger it? It's the lamb barbecue girl. Hey, snap out of it. Wake up. It's me. Come on, wake up. Open your eyes, barbecue girl. I was gonna say, is it her name, Yamashita? It's Yamashita. Mommy Yamashita. Did you really come looking for deer meat? This is nuts. Oh, that's right. Deer. Where are the deer? Have to catch a deer. You don't even have a gun? Ridiculous. You can't hunt deer without a gun. We gotta get you off the mountain, assuming you don't want to die. But I want some nice gamey deer. I'll get you all you can eat once we are off the mountain, but right now, you follow me. You promise? Okay, as long as I get my deer stew. Oh, you're... You're gonna get it. Stay safe. God, J Jesus. <sighs> Made it back alive. Sejima, thank you so much. You are awfully perky. You always bounce back so quick from almost freezing. <laughs> It's because I'm so excited about your promise. You haven't forgotten about me... about making me deer stew, have you? Never? But I gotta... need a bit more time to hunt deer. I understand. Can't wait. I'm just... I stay hungry. I got some in my inventory. Can we use that? You know, I'm impressed with how committed you are makes this whole thing worth it. We do have some deer meat in our inventory. Could, can we just use that? Also, do we have access to our full inventory or just... Okay, I take that as a yes. We do have access to full inventory here. Um... You get rid of the waters. We don't need the waters. Get rid of all of that. Um. Let's 
something like that. Okay, now we should have deer meat in our inventory, so... I think. Maybe. Deer meat. So we got the deer meat, so let's give it a shot. Uh, let's see what we have here. Alright, let's go inside the hut. I'll come... I'll cook some deer stew for you. Thank you, Sejima. Uh, I'm back. Yakuza 5 looks cool, but not the not for a premium adventure. Uh, yeah, I kind of I'm basically playing through the series. Um, I played everything but five and six. So, like, this is my first run, first playthrough of uh, five. Uh, I can't wait for six. Uh, that's gonna be really cool, really awesome. So. So far from when I played from 5, it's really good. But, uh, obviously, it, it's all about the ending. It's all about the ending and the build and how they tell it. But so far from what I'm seeing, I'm loving it. So this deer stew, it's delicious. So, by the way, XYZ, thank you for stopping by. Much appreciated. Uh... So this is deer stew. It's delicious. So different from anything I've ever tasted before. No doubt, just so you know, little lady, it's also delicious when you are not starving yourself. It was worth everything I did. I always liked deer. They are so cute, but now I think I'll be looking at them a in a different light. <laughs> A lady who gets hungry seeing deer. <laughs> uh, that's me. But stop being so reckless, will you? No more going off into the snowy wilds. I'm so sorry, with food I can hardly control myself. Uh, Seven and Zero and Kiwami due to... Majima Everywhere is king of premium adventure. Five and Yakuza 6 starts. Yeah, um, pretty much. It's... With, with the with the Kiwami, with uh, Majima Everywhere, it, I mean, that's just... You... You always have to think on your toes because legitimately Majima could pop up anywhere if you're not careful. Um, I remember there was like a few times off stream to where I was like, oh, I guess I could do this or that. And I go in and it's like, oh God, it triggers a Majima thing. And it's like, but I'm not streaming. I was just doing like little stuff off stream, finishing. I forget what I was doing. But I just remember I triggered a few Majima stuff. And I was like, oh. Now, now I'm feel, I feel bad I'm not streaming it. So I kind of ult F4 and just backed out uh, the best of my ability. I think I I want to say I went back and like showed off some of the Machima everywhere. So, but yeah, it's you're that that is one of the reasons why to play. Uh, I, see, I think that was Yakuza One. I want to say that was Yakuza Kiwami One, and yeah, that was. I could easily see how that's worth. And plus, there's a benefit uh, from uh, being able to take on Majima because you rank up a little bit, so that's always good. But anyway. Uh, but thanks to you, I got back safely. I got Deer Stew. You are my hero. So I'd like you to have this, a small token of my appreciation. Thanking you for everything.
I feel like there's gonna be there's still gonna be more to the story. That can't be it. Also good to know I could always come back here. I like this little village. Oh, you can actually pick specifically where you want to go. I prefer to look at the map, though, so that way I have, like, an idea of, like, where I'm spawning in. But then again, since it's... Then again, the area we are at is kind of small, and it's just one street, basically. We're kind of working from north to south, so I guess let's spawn up north somewhere. But yeah, I really want to play the Yakuza series. Um, I just kind of fell in love with it since Zero, and... I think Zero is going to be, like, impossible to... kind of beat, but... I, I still enjoy the ride of just seeing a good fleshed out story. Cause I thought 3 was really good. I really enjoyed 3. A lot of people say 3 is not their favorite, but but I actually really enjoyed 3. And then with Yakuza 7 or like a dragon the thing I did like about that is, I think that's the one game you almost have to essentially, like, it's the one game I could think of to where you have to constantly just keep doing New Game Plus, New Game Plus. There's, like, no benefit or reason why not to do New Game Plus. Okay, for a second there I thought I passed some sub-stories, and I almost did. Oh yeah. If he's with anybody else, thank you. I was gonna about to say, I think we're gonna level. Plus, wasn't that like my first attack? That is so good. These types of moves are not real. A lot of the moves are not real. But that still doesn't... Oh, that's awesome. So now we have tech fully ranked up. So now we're just down to soul. Perfect. I'm happy. So we up so we completely upgraded body, completely upgraded heat. Awesome. I'm happy. Yeah, a lot of the moves are not real, but I still like it. Just still have fun. Anyone sick of this cold weather? I actually really enjoy cold weather. Uh, Dragon engine moves are a bit more real. In comparison, yeah. 100%. But the one thing I realize about Japanese culture, they really enjoy, like, cartoonish stuff and antics. And it really shows in the earlier versions of Yakuza to where it's just so cartoonish. And honestly, it just makes me enjoy the game a little bit more because I actually watched a lot of cartoons growing up. A lot of the old school, like, 70s and 60s cartoons. Um, and I really enjoyed them. Uh, all the way up until, like, about the 80s, then that's when, or 
eh, 90s, yeah, 90s. And then once the 90s cartoon started showing up, that's when I started, well, maybe more so like early 2000s. But, uh, yeah. I, as a kid, I watched a lot of cartoons, and it's little interesting to see, like, all the old media brought back in a new form, and I kind of enjoy that a little bit. Kind of, it's, it's almost kind of like reflecting, kind of like my childhood a little bit. Yeah, uh, th 3 and 5 does have, uh, a little bit of the cartoonish, while 7... I mean, it, it is... The whole game is just basically through Kazuga's, like, head. It's it's all... It's all in his mind, essentially, so... So, like, even... So not only are, are the attacks kind of, like, imaginary, but... Even the people you go up against are not always actually there. Like, they... Because, hell, didn't... Didn't like Ma uh, didn't not Majima. I don't know why I said Majima, um, but didn't like Kazuga like envision like Kiryu as like a big ass dragon or some shit. So like I mean that that just kind of like just shows like where his mind was. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. I think he did, and then he woke up, and then he's just like, I think he's like singing a song to himself, and that was so funny. I, lo the guy was clearly concussed, and <laughs> he's he's winning this epic battle in his head. Oh, that was so funny. Yeah, but the whole game you're kind of seeing it through Kazuka's eyes. Yeah. The whole game, you're just kind of seeing it through, like, Kazuka's eyes and everything, and it's, oh, yeah. But, but yeah, it's, uh, if I remember correctly, I think, uh, yeah, your other teammates, they basically just see real life while Kazuka is just seeing this imaginary story just play out. Uh... It's one of the reasons why I love Yakuza so much. It can be funny, it can be serious, and everywhere in between. I love that dynamic of being able to laugh and cry at the same time. Or sadness and just laugh out loud funny. I just love that so much about Yakuza. It was one of the reasons why I love Max Payne 2 so much, is they had that dynamic as well, of being able to laugh, but also have, like, something super serious take place. I think it's a great combination. I think it's a great combination, being serious, being serious and funny at the same time. But anyway, I digress. Why are you looking around like that? Our guy is kind of looking a little nervous over here, I'm noticing. Where's my cursor? Yeah, he's just, just kind of like... And plus, we're standing in front of him. What did he look at us? Unless he's waiting for somebody. I'm scoping out the crowd for anyone feeling cold. Anyone who... Wait a second. We are kind of dressed like a military soldier. Look at you. You must have the cold. You must hate the cold. Hmm? Who are you and why do you care? Hmm. Last Judgment is the first uh, RGD games which is the most serious. Uh, most serious and most horror game in the Yakuza series. I have seen the trailer. I, I really want to play Judgment so bad. I really want to play Judgment so bad. But I'm hoping with the remaster that by bumping it up to 60 frames, it will eventually... I'm hoping that they're going to make a PC version, and that way I could play it, because I love PC so much. Absolutely love PC. 
And I am seeing that they are kind of... They're bringing over a lot of games on console over to PC. And... Uh, I I want to see it. I've, I heard that they are making a sequel with Judgment. I heard of it. I'm pretty sure it is uh, Lost Judgment, if I remember correctly. And... I mean, it's it's gonna be so good. Didn't they launch it in PC, uh, PC and Steam? Uh, I don't think they did. At least I didn't get the news. Um, I thought I, I thought I heard that they are gonna. I thought I heard they were gonna be at E3 this year. E3 is gonna make a comeback and. I thought that's when they were going to do the announcement. And I don't know if they're going to call it by... I don't know if they're going to call it Judgment or if they're going to call it Judge Eyes. There is a game called Judgment on Steam, but... It's from 2015, and I doesn't. I don't think that's it. I'm actually looking through the list right now. Sadly, I it's on a it's on my chat PC. So I have a streaming PC, a gaming PC. What you're seeing right now is the gaming PC. And my chat PC right now, I'm not kind of hooked up, so you guys can't see what I'm seeing. I'm looking through Steam right now, and it looks like it's not there. If I go to Yakuza Like a Dragon... Would it be under... Recommended? Please tell me it's under recommended. Okay, under recommended, we have Yakuza 6, Kiwami 2, Kiwami 1, Yakuza 3, Yakuza 0, Yakuza 5, Yakuza 4. Final Fantasy, Octopath Traveler, nope, yeah, it looks like it's not on the list, I'm gonna say it's not on Steam, but I am hoping for E3 that they announce it. Uh, I did hear that uh, Judgment did... That's going to be the beat-em-up, while I thought I heard Yakuza is going to be the turn base. That was all I heard. Uh, and then, of course, right when I say that, I look over. Yes, Judgment will continue the action, and Yakuza will uh, remain turn base. I honestly think they should flip it. Personally, personally, I think they should flip that. I think they should have Judgment be the turn-based game, and I think Yakuza should be the beat-em-up, because it was always a beat-em-up. I don't mind them trying new things and seeing what they like, but Yakuza came first. It was the beat-em-up. But I guess because... I haven't played uh, Judgment, so I can't say for sure, but I think it might be easier to do a beat em up with Yakuza because you got a group of people, and Judgment, I'm assuming it just follows the story of one character, and that's the reason why, since they only could surround it with one character, they have to stick with one guy. 
with Yakuza, you could kind of have like a group of people and have a pack and have the beat em up. But then that would also mean we have to go through Kazuga's imagination again. And it's like, on an occasion, I just want to beat somebody up as a Yakuza guy. Why can't I just do that? Uh, just completely ranting and ra ramblings over here, and I, I should be playing games. My bad, I'm the worst. Sorry, my name is... I don't know. I guess it's I don't know. I'm an inventor. Oh, that would explain the lab coat. I need a product tester who's feeling cold. You, you good sir, appear to be such a fellow with your own sworn hair and destitute apparel. How about it? That's just, that's so rude of you, but what do you want to test? I've been developing gear that will get people through these harsh winters in perfect, warm, cozy comfort. Um... V for Valkyr much? All of a sudden... Dude, this is the this is the plot to freaking Max Payne. I just completed the first prototype. That's why I need one lucky guinea pig. A hem. I mean I meant to say tester. A test tester for my amazing prototype. Hearing this, this sounds exactly like Max Payne. Gear that makes this sort of weather comfortable. Sure did... Sure be... Uh, sure be convenient. Right. This product could be huge. Even people who can't stand the cold would be able to live in Sukumino. The town would grow like crazy. I don't know. Looks like you are not from around here, so you're not used to the climate. That makes you a perfect tester. There's comp uh, there is compensation, of course. I wouldn't ask you to do this for free. <laughs> After all, as soon as this thing becomes a product, it will be a I'll be a millionaire. Huh? Being Warm sure sounds great. What to do? Alright. Let's do it. This doesn't have one of those uh, things to where you become addicted. Yeah. Alright, it does sound interesting. Let me try. Let me try it. Excellent decision. Yes, please follow me. I can't just try it out right here. Do you know how hard it is to get a patient? So he, he, so we are the first of the first. He doesn't even. Someone could see my invention and steal it, and then where would I be? Well, isn't it like a pill or a bottle or something? Oh boy. Uh. Well, all right. So where's this ultimate cold weather gear? Right here in my hand. Looks like pocket tissues. That looks like it's just a pocket warmer. <laughs> you might think that, yes. However, this is no ordinary pocket warmer. It's the ultimate pocket warmer. What the hell is... is that so? Yes, it produces several thousand times the heat of a regular one. Surely, it is the king of pocket warmers. With one of these, 
Tucumina will feel like a tropical paradise. Heck, so would Antarctica. So would the moon? The moon ain't happening. And did you say it's thousands times hotter than a regular one? Would that start a fire? I'm thinking you would burn yourself. It's probably... It, it will probably be fine. Something tells me this guy hasn't even tested it. I'd ignite... Uh, I just adjust something so it wouldn't ignite. You ain't doing too good... Uh, you ain't doing too good a job of selling me a... Selling me on safety. Getting kind of scared here. I would too! This is not what I would recommend... Oh, please, a big man like you? Very well. I will demonstrate first and prove that it's perfectly safe. Uh, he's gonna set himself on fire. After that, you can test it. That sound okay? Alright. Go. First, I activate the unit. Oh, there's that fire we were talking about. Did I screw something up? Should have seen this coming. Hey, do something before the whole place burns down. We need a fire extinguisher. There is a fire extinguisher over there. Please put it out. Better put this out first, then I'll deal with... Uh... I didn't even know. The idiot. Ow. How come I can't turn? I was trying to turn to the side. That was close. Er... How was it? It made you warm. Like it was supposed to, didn't it? You set your place on fire, sir. I'm surprised these documents over here haven't caught fire. You want uh, you want me to kill you? Never mind. Dude, th this was this was terrible. W what are you doing? I'm truly sorry. The temperature. Collaboration was a little off. It's not an easy thing, developing products. It was more than just a little off. We could have died in there. I deeply apologize. Please accept this as re -compens. And accept this too. I'm just so sorry. Pocket? He's given us one? I'm sure as hell don't want this pocket warmer if you make it. No, no, of course not. This was made someone else, please. There's nothing to worry about. I promise. I'm not trying to make you into a guinea pig again. Honest, I'm not. You sure about that? Yes, of course. If you are lying, this ain't gonna end well. I understand that. So, I'm waiting. Yes, of course. I'm terribly sorry. I actually... It, it actually is one of my own prototypes. I'll take it back. Thought so. This dude! He needs to stop. Incredible, you saw through my lies with such ease. It's like you are the Buddha himself. 
I'm no enlightened man, I assure you. You need to stop stooping... You need to stop spouting nonsense and experimenting with your death traps. If I see anyone with one of them... Alright, I got it! I won't try to make the world a better place anymore. Sheesh! Geek! That guy runs quick. That is a public health hazard. At least I ain't cold in you anymore, though. Are you really? Wow, I think we only just got, like, two more sub-stories. Feels good. Making progress. I actually thought it was going to take me longer. I mean, to, well, then again, now that I think about it, I still need to go up on the hill, the mountain, and search for stuff. There is actually all of that I still need to do. Who's left? You? I was looking around for the last guy. I guess we could... Is this the... Is this the Victory Road guy? Can we pick that up? This looks like a little pot. A little teapot. <laughs> I love it how they just stay on the ground and almost wait for me. You alright? You feeling sick? Who are you? Are you... competing in the qualifiers too? Hmm? Names... Urasaka? Kanta Shurasaka. I'm in the Victory Road qualifiers. By the look of you, I'd say you are competing in the Victory Road too, am I right? As you can see, I got the shit kicked out of me. I haven't won a single bout. I just can't seem to shine when I'm up against humans. What do you mean? Does this guy wrestle bears? What the hell? I'm a hunter. I've wrestled a bear into submission up in the mountains. I can keep up with the best when it comes to strength. But I learn to fight against animals, not people. So I worry I get laughed at if I use my usual approach. Ain't every day you hear a story like that. Why you sign up for the Victory Road then? 
I figured it was about time I saw the city. My dad wants me to become a hunter like him, but I'm sick of life out in the sticks. Then forget about what other people think. Just be yourself and fight how you want. When it comes to fighting, ain't no such thing as city boy or country boy style. You reckon? Gotta be yourself when you brawl. Otherwise, it shows disrespect to the guy you are going up against. I see. What's your name? Sejima. Sejima, son? Huh? I feel like I've finally seen the light. So it's alright to fight the way I know how to. I don't need to worry about what people think. Of course. And I think I'm ready to start fresh. Yeah, I can do this. Thanks, Sejima. Be seeing you. So we're not going to fight him? Interesting guy. Never know who you are going to meet on the victory road, I guess. Two more sub stories. Straight across or yeah, straight across. Yeah, I guess we gotta talk to those two. Save. So what is this? The club's been so quiet lately. Not a single instance of anybody pulling a Imahara. Okay. Yeah, too bad that gives... It... Oh, is that the same Kagua for the, that we met in... Well, that we imagined in prison? In prison? Or... Yeah. Yeah, we were with a guy that was showing us this town, and it was like, oh yeah, the number one hostess at this club. Yeah, too bad that gives, uh, Iguya enough time to be so annoying. She's doing better than you. You need to up your game if you want regulars. Huh? Did she say Imahara? Got a minute. What do you want? You ladies talking about Imahara, the detective guy? Excuse me, but who are you? I'm a friend of Imahara's, just haven't seen him in a while, so I'm wondering if anyone knows something. He is in prison, Sejima. Do you really want to bring that up? I see, yes, it's probably the same man, but he's not a detective anymore. He got arrested for bribery. Yep, that's him. Explains why I don't see him around. Oh, good play, good play. You were saying something else, though, weren't you? If you are his friend, I shouldn't. It's fine, I know he ain't perfect. We work as hostesses at Rose Hip, the club over there. Imahara's son used to be one of our regulars. He really took a liking to one of our girls, Kaguya. So what he said in prison was true. We were questioning if what he said was in fact true or not. As he did seem sketchy as hell. Or at least a little sketchy. Maybe not a hundred percent, but he, a little sketchy. But his enthusiasm was kind of over the top, you know. Honestly, he was starting to become a problem. Even Kaguya was getting fed up. She complained to our manager consistently. Jeez. At first, we put up with it because he was such a big spender, but gradually... It got worse and worse. And his ego... He was such a blowhard. This is... 
his friend. Sorry about her. I've it finally got to the point where our manager had to have a talk with Imahara-san, and we haven't seen him since. In fact, it was a long time later that we heard he got arrested. Yep, all that money was dropping... All that money was dropping must have been from a bribes. I had no idea. I'm sorry, maybe we shouldn't have told you. No, no, don't worry about it. Appreciate your... Andor. Sorry to keep you. No apology necessary. Imahara was so cheerful telling those stories. You never know, I guess. There has to be more. There has to be more. Where? Oh, I think we gotta head up north. I'm guessing we're gonna... Oh, are we gonna come across the hostess? I bet that's what's gonna happen, right? Oh. Oh my god, the car is blocking me from crossing. Well, ain't that a bee. Nope. 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 Yes. I realize there could be an escaped convict on the loose, but we really need all the police. They make the shoppers nervous. Yeah, and it's not like you can trust the police anyway. Oh god. Sejima, get it lost! They might know. That's true. What was that one guy's name? Oh yeah, Imahara. A homicide detective on the take. You... Can you believe that? Imahara. Imor... Hamura. I don't know why I said Imahara. It's Hamura. I'm the worst. Hamura. Sure, made a name for himself here. Wonder what else these folks know. Uh... Got a minute? Certainly. How may I serve you, good sir? Calm down, buddy. I'm no customer. I just want to know about that Detective Amura. You never heard? A while ago, there was an arms trafficking deal set up by a foreign gang. I thought it was the Mafia. Amura knew about the deal, but he ignored it in return for Mafia hush money. Geez, that's the opposite of what he said. So obviously the police took a lot of criticism for that. Now they are desperate to fix their image. I wouldn't be surprised if there's his opinion and public opinion. And something tells me we're probably going to find out who's right. And there's a good chance Imahara is telling us the truth, but what's going to happen is we're going to come across the leak, if that makes sense. The leak is going to tell us, or we're going to find evidence of the leak, and we're going to find out it was all a ploy to just basically shut him down. I bet that's what's gonna happen. That's right, they are especially eager to nab anyone in the Mafia because word on the street is they are running guns again. Oh yeah? Well, thanks. No problem, anytime. Okay. Eh? Try 
sure, let's fight. Let's go. And done. Gold plate, nice. That's like, what, 10,000? You sure the tip about the iron steel is good? Yeah, well, I'll round them. Uh, we'll round them all up this time. That will wash the stink off a, uh, off, wash the stink of uh, Amura off us, once and for all. I still can't believe he was dirty. You didn't see, you didn't see it coming. You and him were partners for ages. He was a blowhard, always trying to impress. Yeah, he was always flashing cash for you rookies. Probably the same mindset that made him go off the rails. You think so? That's my theory. Anyway, screw him. Where's this deal supposed to go down? I already told you, the plaza in Ramen Village. Let's head out then. Ramen Village, let's go. That's the place Amora was talking about. Shouldn't get too close with the cops and all, but I gotta see this my with my own eyes. Oh, uh, looks like we're on the track of proving his innocence. Has to be. Has to be. Gotta head south, right? Yeah, gotta head south. Probably gonna get in 20 other fist fights on the way over. Hmm? Did I pass it? Kinda? Ah, here we go. Ramen Village. Oh my god, I feel like I'm playing... Godfather. I guess the deal already went down. Damn. Shit, what a mess. Hold up. Shit. Huh? Who are you? Stay away. Wait, that's... Tell you the truth, I ain't even sure I'm sticking my neck out like this. But I owe Amora, and it's about time I pay that debt. Oh, we're just gonna beat up everybody?
<sighs> there we go. Who the hell are you? Yeah, he could be a show-off. It's the best. And the worst thing about him. He sure had me fooled, but hey, it was fun while it lasted. He's serious? Look, I know he did I know he did wrong, but he ought to pay for it. But you're talking about the guy who saved my life. Just wanted you to know that. What are you waiting for? That's Sejima. He ex uh, the escaped prisoner. Wait. You're right, but sorry. I ain't ready to get caught yet. Damn it! Wait! Saved his life, huh? I guess you are not rotten to the core after all, Hamora. Hope I see you again one of these days. We could go for drinks like old times. Bruh, he's in prison. You could visit. He's not dead. He's just in prison. Are we heading the right way? Yeah. Alright, so there's one more sub-story over here. But first... I think I want to try my luck at pool again. Call me crazy. I want to try my luck at pool and fail. But still have fun doing it. Oh, great. I'm stuck! Can I... Jesus Christ. Well, that sucked. <laughs> Careful, you get stuck by freaking pedestrians. God, I much prefer the mechanic in Yakuza... Zero and Kiwami 2. Well, hell, I think it was even in Kiwami 1 as well. Mm -hmm. You know what? Sure. <laughs> I think this guy a hustler. This dude over here is a freaking hustler. Let's do nine ball. You could. It's all about getting that last shot in. How is it? Is it fully charged yet? What? How? Oh my god, that thing wasn't plugged in? Not me. thought it was plugged in this entire time. Okay, now it's being charged. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I thought it was charging for two hours. Oh! Dude! 
Wow! Oh, we were supposed to go for the one ball. Hey, no problem. I got my shot. I was trying to go for the two ball. But I said screw it. Okay, so if you go for a wicked shot... The hell? That was entertaining, thanks. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> what? You could seriously end the game like that? I didn't know that was a thing. Interesting. And plus, playing the billiards is kind of free doing this, so... Oh, I guess I'm going first. Come on. Why are you doing this game? <sighs> well, apparently I tried. Okay, but how are you going to get that second shot, huh? What? Okay. Hey, what kind of type of wicked shot are you going to go for here, dude? I don't know how he won that first one. I gotta keep my eye on that nine ball. Come on, game. There we go. Crap. Apparently doing it with a mouse is way better. Noted. Yours. I stumbled. Mazinga. We can see it. Damn. 
いい調子悪いみたいだな来た来たうん It's all about getting that nine ball. Hmm, yeah, he's gonna have to hit it like that. I just set him up for a good shot. He's done. He won. Damn. Well, at least that was a full game. I want to give it one more go, but this time with 8-ball. I'm sure this guy is like a hustler or something. just kind of bothers me that the guy is able to like able to do stuff and it's like I don't I almost don't even understand how he wins the worst You better break it well. Oh, interesting. Coming from an in from a side angle. Yours. Mm. Okay, so I'm Lowe's. Or wait, or did I read that wrong? All I know is I'm stripes. How? That looked like it was right on the money. I should just do with a... I should just do mouse and keyboard. Get more accurate shots, I guess. Yeah, you basically can't screw up. Finally, the one miss. Almost knocked in one of my own. And that's how you do it with a freaking keyboard. Damn, so close. I got one. He's got one more. Man, if he hit that.
Oh god, I pocketed his ball. Oh. It's still my turn? That's not a scratch? Yeah, it's way easier with the freaking keyboard. Uh. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Go at this angle, that's gonna not be good. Mm. We could try that. did that. Don't ask. Okay, so I just gotta use mouse and keyboard. This whole time, I thought... My aim just sucked. I won! I think that's it. And all it took was just changing from controller to mouse and keyboard. Your aim is way more on point with mouse and keyboard. Why is that? Even my accuracy went up. Noted. Mouse and keyboard. You're in a different class. That will teach me to challenge strangers. Hmm? I think we're good. It is kind of funny that we have two guys that could we could play games against. Are you a sub story? <sighs> This is what it's all come to. Barkeep, hit me with another. Our, uh... Psyche... Son, maybe that's enough. Come on now, you... Want to drink too, if you were me. It's too much, it's not good for you. Not to worry, my man? The next one's the last one, I swear. You promise? Okay, just one more. <laughs> My hero. You are a champion. That's why you are on the side of the... You're on that side of the bar. Yeah, and I'm a... 
and a loser like me is getting tipsy on this side. Uh huh. Fans way past tipsy. Let's stay away. Hold up! It, it's an inebriated man. You and you are. Oh no. Forgetting your phone? Huh? No, got mine on me. Must be someone else's. Oh, yeah, it's. Probably belongs to someone who got too drunk. That's just a careless thing to do, you know? Someone will steal it. Bad people all over the place, you know? Not all of them get caught. That's for sure. <laughs> Sounds like you are well into the bottle yourself. Huh? Well, it doesn't matter if a loser like me gets careless. No one would give a sh. He looks pretty down on, on something. Maybe I oughta hear his story. Hey, buddy, old pal. You want something? He looks down on something. Maybe I oughta hear his story. What's making you drink like that? What's it to you? Every man needs a drink now and then. There's a proper way to drink, and it ain't no way to lift your spirits. What happened? You really want to know? Yeah. Sigh. Nothing happened. I'm just not much use anymore, so... What else is there for me to do but drink? What? You lost your job or something? But I might as well have a pep I've been chasing for years, perp I've been chasing for years, suddenly went poof. Perp. You a detective? <laughs> That I am, Detective Arasekai of Seiki. Arasekai of the Sukumino Police Department at your service. Yet, what do you. What do you look so surprised for? A detective can enjoy a drink on his own time. No, of course he can. Guess he hasn't cottoned on, cotton on to me been a one in man. No surprise considering how wasted he is. 35 years I've been a detective and for the most of it I've been after this one perp. Catching him came to me my purpose in life. 35 years, that's a long time. You bet, I know his habits so well. I could predict his next move heist to the day. So on the other days I tailed him, I was sure it was finally going to happen. I was going to catch him red-handed. But right before my eyes, the unthinkable happened. The unthinkable? Yeah, the... Bastard went somewhere I could never get him. Detroit. Stood. He never had everything riding on this. Uh, seriously? I was so close to fulfilling my dream. But after 35 years, it just slipped through my fingers. Now here I am, facing retirement. My career is going to end without... Me ever accomplishing a damn thing? So you get it now. Don't bother this loser for sobbing into a drink. It's all I have. Our sake han was it? Yeah. Our uh, our sake han. 
Tell me this, if you could have caught that one perp, would you really all of a sudden be satisfied with your whole career? Damn straight. Something wrong with that? So petty. What did you say? The hell do you know? I banked everything on nailing that bastard. Obviously, you're not a man of ambition. If you were, you would understand what it feels like to have your dreams crushed. My dream? Yeah, your dream. I have one? My dream is to work hard with my brother. Make the Tojo clan stronger again. That was my dream, but not now. See, the Tojo clan I mentioned, it's a... Neighborhood baseball club. We used to be really good, you know. <laughs> awesome. Awesome to the max. Yeah, there you go. Good, he's asleep. This is a problem. I have to close up soon. I'll take him out of here and find him a taxi. Oh, thank you. This is very helpful of you. No problem? Come on. Or, uh... Saki-han. Time to go. Wait. We don't know where this guy is, <laughs> lives and everything. Uh, it's cold. Where am I? Or wait. I was asleep, sorry about that. You are... kinda a handful, aren't you? Sorry, I wish I had an excuse. No one help me! Bird Snatcher? Where the hell is he going? Nani? Rasaki Han? Now I gotta chase him? Sure, let's fight, because I'm in the middle of something. Don't mind me, just taking on a bunch of goons. Oh, I loved how the music just kind of stopped there for a second. Now, where were we? Alright, you stay down. You eat shit. Hey, check it out. Right... Right out, uh, got busted. What a fuck up. Told you. I win. Pay up. What the hell? I say so. What are you talking about? Okay. Yosuke. Your turn. I won't get up like Ryota. Wait. Masa-san, help me. You serious? I only did it because you told me to, Masa-san. I don't associate with fuck-ups, loser. Come on, let's go. But... Hey. Are you two... with him? Are you going anywhere? What's that, fucker? Uh-oh. It's like the detective is getting his ass handed to him? This drunk's a wimp. Alright, Saki Han? You alright? Could I be any more pathetic? 
Lost my dreams, pushed around like a couple of punks. I should have realized I never fanned enough for this job. Alright, sake on. Get a load of this. This old drunk's knocked off his ass crying about lost dreams. I can't believe it. How do you get to be that old without facing up to being the loser you are? I'm embarrassed for you, old man. Real talk. Glad I won't ever grow up. Be like you, man. Okay, let's boogie out. Hold on. Huh? Hold it. Why are you doing this sort of thing? I don't know who you are, but I'll kick your ass. You still... out of... You still... out of boredom? You leave your mate behind? What are you trying to do? What's that now? What's the goal here? The dream. Dream? Do I look like... A fucking girl? Everything's cool if I'm having fun now. Who gives a about the future? Oh, one of those guys. Yeah, it, it, that that's that's great. Yes, that answers that. Life ain't all milk and honey, you know. No guarantee of course. Uh, no guarantee of success. I know it causes. I know. I know it causes I'm just like Aris Aris I chased a dream and I failed just days ago. What? But that joy of fulfilling a dream, if you want a chance at fulfilling it, you have you gotta have a dream in the first place. You got nothing like that. You got no right to mock those who do. Oh, it's worth aspiring to be something. Don't matter how many times you come up short. He really believes what he's saying? You lecturing me? Get off your soapbox, fucker. Let's shut him up. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy it. I just want to count the bullets, but I got no gun, so I guess we have to count this. Easy. Thank you so much. Is that a woman? What what did she How did she get involved? Oh, was she with the one with the purse? Sorry I got you involved in this. Not to worry, I'm alright now. Yeah. Good, I'll be leaving. Wait a moment. Please. That was he want. What you said. It woke me up. I swear it was like a kick to the head. Huh? There's no guarantee of success, but you still have to try, because only those who work hard enough have a chance. I blame the perp for taking away my purpose, but it was me, not him, who decided there was nothing else I could possibly do in life. Arasake, huh? <laughs> if only I had realized this sooner. Now, retirement is bearing down on me. I don't have time to make a new dream come true. What are you saying? Are you a great detective? Huh? S soon as you heard that woman screaming, you took off like a shot and caught the guy, even though you were s even though you were stumbling drunk. That was just instinct. There was a crime happening right before my eyes. I couldn't stand there and do anything. And do nothing. You helped someone in trouble. Ain't that the essence of a detective of detective work? Chasing your perp for all those years? 
Was it really just about catching the biggest fish in the sea? Or was it about protecting the people from crimes? Just because you lost the dream of arresting one criminal, don't take away the bigger dream of protecting this town. You still got plenty of work to do. You're right. Absolutely right. Somewhere along this hunting path, I have walked away so many times. I lost sight of my true quarrel. Maybe it maybe if my perp had been even more dangerous, I wouldn't have lost my way so badly. What was he like? Ashima, his name? AKA businessman. My ha churl? That's. He means old man Ashima from prison! Oh, snap! Yeah, we know that guy! He gave us all the information! Yeah! I see you heard of him. The legendary thief. With over 15,000 counts of theft. And no arrests. Yep, that's right. You believe the rumors. You don't think they're true. No, think about it. To pull off 50,000 thefts, that would take over 40 years of doing one job a day. It's ridiculous. Then, where the rumors come from? Well, he was what you might call a gentleman thief. He'd only steal from other crooks. Businessman... Ayashiro... Ash was a gentleman thief. He'd steal many... He'll steal mainly from politicians and bureaucrats. All of them with shady reputation. There's even proof. Not one of them filed a report about the thefts because it would expose their own corruption. But, of course, they were just going to take the hit. They weren't just going to take, take the hit, either. They used their considerable considerable influence to determine the capture of big bad businessman I uh, hero and that's how they turn the gentleman thief into public enemy number one I see Hayashiro's identity has been known for a long time, actually, but he's a genius at not leaving a shred of evidence that could be used against him. Since he couldn't nab, since we couldn't nab him on that front, we wanted to get him on other charges, but he was squeaky clean. So the higher ups. Founded Aiha Hero employer into firing him. They figured if he lost his job, he would have to pull off some petty jobs to stay afloat. So he really was a working stiff wear a suit and tie. Sure was, he couldn't tell his wife why he got fired. He kept it from her and over 30 years what a fool he wanted his life trying to stick to stick it to the man ended up with nothing to his name but infamy and disgrace I shared a cell with him for over a year and didn't ex didn't suspect a thing he played the part of a regular old man perfectly. Whatever the case, a crime's still a crime. His crimes may have been shady, but they are still citizens protected by the law. 
So I felt it. I felt it my. I felt it my duty as a detective to pursue him. He'd threaten the town's peace. To put him behind bars to me would be justice. A thief who sacrificed his own honor for justice, and a detective who was pursuing justice on behalf of thieves. Years passed until that fate, until that fateful day three years ago. Maybe he knew I was tailing him. It doesn't matter now. I watched him head to the police station, wearing his usual suit. He turned himself in? I couldn't believe it. There he was, in police custody. This was supposed to be the moment I've been waiting for 35 years for. But you see, he went where I could never follow him. Sure, but he still got colored, didn't he? Where he, where my justice, where was the meaning in my 35 years? I was crushed seeing how pointless it all was, how little my life meant. That's when I took to the bottle. Rasakian. But that changes today. You slap me awake. I'm here to do more than just catch. Hashiro. I'm here to uphold the justice I believe in and protect people. So I'll keep being a detective and I'll keep fighting evil like those purse snatchers. There you go. Now you got the look of the other detectives I've known. A look of conviction. That's so. Thanks. <laughs> Didn't think I'd get a perp. Didn't think I would get a pep talk from an escaped convict. He knows us! What? You knew? I might be drunk, but I still... I'm still a cop. You think I wouldn't recognize a wanted man? And you're not arresting me? What? Are you stupid? I... radioed the station a short while ago. If you don't start running now, you're going to find yourself surrounded by uniforms. You... gonna start bluffing better... You... You gotta start bluffing better than that. The next time I see you, you will be in cuffs faster than you can blink. I'm still a detective, and you are still a criminal. Alright, appreciate it. Wow. It is so weird, you get in these situations and it's like... Does he know? Oh, I need to sneeze so bad, I'm fighting it. Alrighty. I kind of feel like I need to do main story. Wait. Was that the last? Hold on. I maybe. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Mountain. No, mountain. I, w I need a hunt. Also, that guy has a wicked bat.
Apparently that was the last of them. Okay, so we have half a million. Also, can we get some food here? I want to have full health when I go up on that mountain. Might need to turn off my fan here. It's kicking up dust in my face. I just think my room is just like incredibly dusty and every time I turn on a fan that's why I start sneezing. Can we not just buy this? Here we go. I'm gonna start sweating profusely. Oh, I hate the summer so much. Alright, well... No! That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted, game. Please put me right next to a taxi, please. Taxi! Village. Thank you. Now let's go hunting. We gotta talk to our bro. And we gotta go up on the mountain. I forget how many side stories that we got with the, uh, going up on the mountain. It's probably, I'm not gonna lie, it's probably gonna be like an endless cycle, but still, it's, I, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like the hunting in this game. Wanna make sure that I do have... Demonstrate. Mm, no. Okay. enough. I mean, we completed the main story, but I thought there was other side content that we could still do while we're up on the mountain. Oh, we can tuck and roll? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got a fox here. Yep, that's a fox. Fubuki must 
少しマシになってきたか Set that down. Oh, my nose is running. So we got full, pretty much full ammo. All right, bear. I'm gonna shoot you full of lead. That still hit, even though. Come on, come at me, bear. I was actually trying to get like multiple hits at once. I don't know if it worked. I'm gonna say no. Hell. 
Dude. What's going on here? Grab it. I just don't want something coming up on me. Gotta get kinda up north, I guess. I don't know if I got all the statues. I don't think I did. You okay? You! What are you doing out here? Where's your boy? Mind your own business. Just leave me. Just leave me be. This ain't no place. This ain't no time for pride. Where is he? We were picking wild plants when we came upon a bear. <sighs> I shot one on the way over. Was it that one? We started running for our lives. I lost sight of my son. That ain't good. Okay. You are not hurt, are you? Don't worry about me. Worry about my son. Fine, fine. Did you happen to see the direction he went? He went in. I'm not sure, but I think he went deeper in... Please, it's my son. Help him. Do my best, ma'am. So I guess we're on the lookout for the son. When you say deeper in... Up north? The more I keep holding back the sneeze, it's gonna come back with vengeance. I know it is. Like this all the time. Ooh, toxic mushroom. Pretty sure I got this one. I'm gonna try and uh, mute my mic whenever I do that. Oh man. Oh crap. Well, maybe I get that for snorting. But when you have a runny nose. Wait, is that like a squirrel? You are rabbit. One sec. Yeah, sorry about that. No, this is running. Allergies. Because everything's fine, and then after a while, it's like my nose just get, gets to me. Got indoor allergies kicking up.
I don't think there's anything chasing me. Oh, we could finally go across? Can we actually go across the bridge? We used to not be able to cross this. Interesting. Yeah, this used to not be accessible. spotted me. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I shot the bear, didn't I? A lot of animals in this area. we can leave because there's not a whole lot here. I'm not even going to bother. Don't worry, I'm GTFOing. Getting the hell out of here. So we gotta find this kid. Damn it! I think I shot the ground. Rabbit be. I would lay down more snares, but I would feel like I would lose like where they're at.
Can we go over here? see over the edge. I was hoping I could kind of get like a vantage point and maybe shoot that way I guess. See if it's possible. feel like I need to find uh, the mom again. See where she's at. And then if I headed north... Oh. I almost sneezed. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna catch it. Oh man, two bears? And there it is. Finally sneezed. Probably going to be sneezing up a storm now. Reload, reload. At least I got the reload. Oh my god! How many bears? Ganged up by bears. That didn't hit, bro, bro. That didn't hit. You're you're kidding. You're kidding. The reload. The reload. Can, can I just eat some food? I think I need that? Because I'm going to die here. Why does it feel like... Ugh. It feels like I'm running over my cables here. There we go. Looks like it's just snagged, though. Which is weird, because I'm not really moving my chair right now. But every so often, I can't... Whatever. Hold on a second. Yeah, there we go. Feels better. I guess we're just gonna be going with uh, bear stuff in our inventory. Bear meat.
Yeah, kind of funny how how once the odds changed in favor, all of a sudden you run off like a little bitch. Funny how that is, huh? Get back here, bear. Oh, he ran off. Okay. I don't know where I came in. I want to say I came in from over here. And I went up north. That was a direct shot. Dude, those are direct shots. There's one right next to me, and it's like... If I could get them both to, like, look at me. How is this bear not dead? Some of these shots are landing. I know they're landing. No! Really? Air country. There's another bear. Bro. Okay, I need to get out of here just because of all the freaking bears, dude. Jesus Christ. Good evening, because we got rid of all these bears. Yeah. 
Oh god, I'm getting out of here. There's a bear. I know there's a bear. There has to be a bear. There's always a freaking bear, dude. Why is there a bear? Hello. Bye, Bambi. Okay. I need to get out of here because of all the freaking bears. We still need to find that kid. There's a way to have more ammo. You need a return. Everything in the item box. If we could sell some stuff. Just keep selling. Could sell the fat. I just need to set those traps everywhere. One stag. Oh, you are the mother of the runaway kid. Aren't you? Yes, my son. You are traveling. 
right? Where is this? But would you deliver this letter to him? Yeah. Okay. At a restaurant. Okay. I could try and do that. Actually, that might actually be pretty easy. I just need to find that restaurant. What is it, like, Apocalypse or something? The name of the restaurant? Okay. Now, I have a problem. Where to find this kid? Hmm. Apparently there's one statue out there. That I haven't found yet. I almost am um, completely done with the traitor. He wants a million. We almost have that. Wait. That's not what I want. Probably need more of those. Go to the mountains. Hopefully we could find more animals. Oh, I actually forgot to uh, get some food. Should have ate before I did this. Worries? First kill. Might as well get that health. Oh my God. I don't know where on a game. Dude. 
Did that not hit? Sometimes I feel like it's right on point, and other times it's like I can't hit it to save my life. We're just gonna set up traps all over the place. Now we hit this place pretty good. That may have hit the ground. Wabbits! Wabbits pushing me? How dare you! Set up a cage here. down here. Wait, did we just go in a big circle? Oh, is this... is this the kid? Set down another trap. And that might be my last, uh, thing, statue. There he is. the sun you all right the outsider your attitude seems to be all right at least have you seen my mom we got separated yeah she's fine what a relief let's meet up with her and go back down oh hurry before she worries wanders off looking for us okay 
Oh, we have to protect him. She should be in the area, right? I'm guessing he got snagged on a tree. That could happen to AI. Okay, I did go through here because I see one of my traps is down. So that is a good sign. There she is. Okay, good stuff. <sighs> Mother. Oh, thank goodness. Glad you're okay, Mom. My precious son. Made it back. Hey, don't do anything that worries your ma too much, eh? Hey? Wait a moment. Sorry for being so nasty to you. I owe you our lives. Thank you very much. I also apologize. Will you accept this? It doesn't come close to express our the depth of our remorse, but... Of course I'll accept this. Accept this, your peace offering. I ain't exactly the trusting type myself. Hey. Good stuff. Well, there's uh, some... There is a letter we have to go back into town, actually, to... Uh, kind of give, so... I kind of feel like I should do that. Also, we do have full health, so... I do kind of feel like... I need a bunch of cages. That's good. Uh, and then let's get our cages. I almost probably need to do an entire cage run. Not necessarily a cage run, but like just plant, just go into the woods and just plant a bunch of cages, and hopefully I catch those one particular animals that we kind of need to get. So, or at least it's on the list of like achievements to get. I'll 
also, we should probably get more heals when we're back in town. Just out of curiosity, we could check our... Like, if we check status, right? Uh, okay, so there is still another statue out there that I need to get. I need to get more cages. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out, buy a bunch of cages. And, yeah. I think that's what we're going to do. I did. I felt like I seen them in specific areas. Those animals. I'm pretty sure these are the cages we need in order to capture them. Oh, I thought I had a sneeze. Sometimes it just, it's waves. Gonna sneeze, gonna sneeze, and we're good. We're good. Oh, really? Gonna sneeze? And we're actually fine. We're good. And then sneeze. Oh, my nose works. Okay, so... Let's do one more run on the mountain. This time we're just gonna go in and basically just put cages everywhere. go out there. Get her done. Okay, so... Full health. Good. Oh, I think we got one. Is it a fox, though? Oh, no, it is the... Okay. It is the animal that we are looking for. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and set that trap again. You know what? I think these are more for bears. Just now realize. Age on this.
gonna get out of this area. I was gonna say, is something following me? Just lay down the trap, dude. Mm. Apparently I didn't discover this trap yet. Trap site. I think I got something on this trap over here. All that put in inventory. Put the trap down, same exact place. Or why I did that? Come on, bear. I see you. I see you. Just had to line up that shot.
Take down some more traps. Apparently, I've never been in this area. Apparently. Damn it, just set the trap, dude. Gotta wait for that icon, I guess. Can move faster in the snow, but at the same time, yes. I just want to plant these traps and go Do it as quickly as possible. if I go in here? Oh! Oh, okay, okay. Oh, and full health? Checkpoint, okay. Okay, that's cool. So that's the reason for those things. And I guess you could swap out stuff in your inventory? a trap and let's shoot this bear. I want to say that was a direct shot. just gonna have traps everywhere. And you're gonna have a trap. And you're gonna have a trap. And you're gonna have a trap. Trap here, trap there. So now I know how to stay in this place even longer. And I think I could even switch out stuff in my inventory, which... So that means you don't have to leave the mountain. You can stay on the mountain. Just keep going. That's pretty cool. Go. 
Can we get a trap here? Items? Can't discard. Band an expedition. Oh, nice. So you can just straight up just quit right here. Dude. Bears. Bears. That was in the, uh... All hell. Here we go. This, is the, this again. Jesus, dude. Get this one? Oh, no, we didn't. Okay. Okay, this map is looking pretty interesting now. I have so many traps out, too. I don't care about a rabbit. Run away! Go ahead and leave. No, I had to shoot and have to reload. saying there I thought a rabbit was just standing there randomly Down a cage. Mm. Damn. 
I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. This was kind of worth. What? Gotta leave. Gotta go. So, head back to the village. Sell some stuff, and... I think we gotta give that message to that one... I think it was like a son or something? Gotta send a message in town. But we'll do that. Buy more cages. Sell. Guess that's it. Hmm, we we'll keep those. I think there's a couple of stuff that we could actually, like achievements and stuff. I don't know what this list is. I think we actually almost... I'm not gonna go back on the mountain, but I do wanna check and see real fast. to go on the mountain. I want to see that list. Oh, we need to give them to the guy in the village? Oh, I thought we'd give them to the trader. Okay. Didn't we just do that? Uh, okay. So... Okay, so we need... So I need three of those little bastards. But they're all over the freaking mountain, so... We'll... We'll be getting that. Probably the next time when we go up there. Um... Yeah, we're gonna cancel. Cancel, cancel. Okay. Alright, well... I think there's one last thing that I want to do, and that is... Go to town and give them that thing? I'm pretty sure it was like a son or something that is... Not here in this village, but... I'm guessing they're... Over in the main city. I don't know where, so let's just go north. Also, almost have a million dollars. Awesome. Kind of love that. And I think I might call it a stream here. I just hate streaming at these hours is all. Okay, so I need 
think the place was called Apocalypse or something like that. Gotti. I want to say it was like a restaurant or something. Earth Lane. Not seeing it. And the issue's there. Now, I'm not. S I think it was called a popular. Oh, could this be it? I see there is a location, so. And if we fast travel south, Nani, we'll be right there. I think we're going to do this. So we're going to see what's going on here, and I think I'm going to call it a stream. Do this one last thing and end it. Last, of course, we get into fights. going to try and avoid this, but we'll see what happens. Aha! Yes, this is the place. This club. It's where the villager runaway is supposed to be working. House Club, Apocalypse. You work here at Apocalypse, right? This a host club? Yes. Are you coming in? Some restaurant. That's Matt Sal. I heard there's a guy who works here named Matt Sal. He around? Matt Sal. What's he to you? Just an acquaintance is here or not. He took off only one day. Worked a 300,000 payment. What do you mean? A client he was handling left a unpaid bill. Ooh, and he has to pay it? It's up to the host to cover it when that sort of thing happens. Yeah. He's probably trying to find another job to try and pay it off, or, God forbid, getting into worse things. But instead of being responsible, he just vanished. We've been looking for him everywhere. We tracked that idiot down eventually and settled it. Bullshit. You set him up, didn't you? Took advantage of the fact he didn't know from down the city. Up and down from the city. What kind of outfit pairs up a shady client with a new guy? What? Anyway, I guess that means I won't find him here. See ya. The nerve of some people. So where the hell is Matt Sound get to? Beg your pardon? But is that you, Sejima? You are. It's me, Matso. We met in my village. Matso. Wasn't expecting to run into you here. I'm as surprised as you are when. When did you get to. Tsukumino? Short time ago, heard a. Heard you became a host. I went by your club. Oh, really? Did they say anything about me? Yeah, they said they are gonna track you down, run out owing 300,000 yen, did you? That was a setup. I had no idea what was going on, and suddenly I owe all this, all this money. Yeah, I know they're dirty tricks, but you were naive as hell, too. Thought you could make easy money being a host, did you? Huh? A pumpkin like you is a ready-made victim for them. You gotta start thinking that way. 
I know that now. I've been trying to get involved in any... I've been trying to get... I've been trying not to get involved in anything else shady. Got a letter for you. From your pa. What? My father wrote to me? Yep. And your ma insisted that I hand deliver it to you. Seems the... Both of them are worried about you. I'm sorry, but if it's from my father, I can't accept it. Why not? Obviously, he's neither disowning me with that letter or he's ordering me home. Either way, I don't want to read it. Well, it's no use to me. Just take it. I don't want it. My father never listened to me, and so why should I listen to him? I should have figured for I should have figured you for a typical adult. I have to go. Why? Not so fast, Mitsal. No, not you guys. Yeah, us guys. You are a slippery one, Sal. Huh? You didn't seriously think you're getting away, did you? Half up the three hundred thousand yen. There's no way I can come up with that money. How do you expect me to pay? We gave you a job, and this is how you thank us? Is that they? Is that the way they teach you rubes and the boonies? Listen, you thief. It's your own problem how you come up with the money. Ask mom for help. Sell an organ, whatever. You made the... You need to make this right. Are you in the... You're in the real world now. I don't have anything. Getting a... Pretty decent life lesson here, eh? Sage my son. On the other hand, these boys getting a little carried away. They need some learning too. Uh -huh. Who do you think you are, old man? Screw this. Let's teach them both a lesson. Come at me. Easy. What the hell? This guy is like a machine. Sage him, my son. You had enough already. Jackass. Yes, that's enough. Guess in the house club leader or something, the manager. Our boys make their living with their looks. Please don't damage the merchandise anymore. Who are you? The owner of Apocalypse, would you accept my apology on their behalf and we can all move on? What's about Miss Sal's <laughs> debt? It's fine. It's all been settled. Huh? What do you mean? Miss Sal's parents repaid the debt in full, 500,000 yen. They paid without hesitation when I explained the situation to them by phone. What? The debt was... 300,000 yen, how did they get half a mil? The extra 200,000 was effort by the father. He said it was to compensate us for the Sal's running away from the club. A reasonable man. But we have no need to further communicate with you, Miss Al. You should be thankful for your parents settled your debt. Farewell. Everything's not always what it seems. Message. 500,000 yen? That's gotta be a lot of money for your folks. Still don't want to read the letter from your pa? Here, I see it now. Please? Yeah, of course. I feel like this should be, like, voice acted. Dear Masao, 
in the in the time since you left, I've realized something. This day had to come. Our village is isolated from the rest of society. Must have been deadly dull in your eyes. It was only natural that you would want to leave for the city. I tried to tie you down. I didn't want to let you out of my sight. Enough, though. Enough through. You are old enough to be on your own. It was for my own ego that I did that. And I knew it was hurting you. But I have no education. I never lived in a town. Let alone a city. Can you imagine how worried I was about my only child walking into a world I know nothing about? When you defied me, I was furious. That was how I felt then, and it's how I feel now. But at the same time, I also find myself feeling proud. Because you are my son. You stepped out into the big, wide world. That shows courage. Your mother and I will comfort ourselves with this thought. Don't worry about us. You are free to spread your wings. I'm sure you will face many hurdles, but I know you can overcome anything. Never give up, Masao. Don't let the city folks intimidate you. You are my son. I could not be more proud to be your father. So don't give up, Masao. Never, ever give up. I look forward to the day we meet again, however long I have to wait. Keep waiting. On that day, you'll come to me as a man in his own right. And that's when I say to you, I'm sorry I could only raise you a tiny village like this. Sorry for keeping you cooped up. Sorry for not listening. Dad? Child's gotta leave their parents' protection eventually. That's why I don't fault you for what you are doing. It's only when you take your first step out of the nest that you realize your parents were guarding you with everything they got. Yeah. Couldn't stay in a town being a child, Miss Al. Had it right on that one. But now, you gotta make your own conviction. Start walking on your own two feet. Right. I need to be set straight. My parents paying my debt and you defending me from those guys. I get it now. I need to actually step into true independence. Thank you, Benjamin son. I'm gonna try harder and truly be worthy of my father's pride. Sounds good. Take care of myself. Fine. That means a lot. Goodbye. He's a good kid. Never give up, Miss Hell. And that is how you end a stream. That was beautiful. I loved it. Alright, guys. Um, Yeah, I think I'm just going to call it here. But first pool. I have to do it. I, I, I got to do it. I gotta play a game of pool. It, it's in my nature. It's how I do business.
So consider this a bonus. Kind of. So we're just going to go ahead and play a little game of pool. And we'll be on our ways. Hell, we'll probably even play darts if I feel like it. Mm -hmm. I mean, hell, since this guy does it for free. <laughs> is 8-Ball not going to be on the list anymore? Oh, no, it still is. You could, uh... So basically, I'm going to line up my shot with my controller and then just have at it with the mouse. Coming in at an angle. Good break, though. I love it. But, you just need Come on. Bam. It is. <laughs> If we could get a, uh, Uh, yeah, let's do something like that. Ooh, in and out. Almost. Uh, yeah. Was it well, wasn't a bad idea. That wasn't a bad idea. some shots a little bit, so feels good. Usually I'm struggling to even get one in. And now here I am actually doing stuff. I'm gonna try something. Oh crap. Once again, it wasn't a bad idea. It wasn't a bad idea. I don't know what he was trying to think of try to do there. Knock this one in. Let's 
say right there. Damn. Somehow I kept everything in play. Uh, yeah. Seems a little long, but he might get it. Kind of what I thought. Just seemed like it was t too long of a shot. But he isn't there. Damn. Uh oh. Okay. For a second there, I thought I was about to scratch. Still doing good. I mean, we just got. There's just too many at play at the moment. Once it starts to clear out a little, it'll be a little bit easier. Because there's some shots I can't take because his uh, his wall is in the way and stuff of that nature. But now it should be clearing up, so it's gonna be a little bit easier. And he's definitely get a lot of ease. Oh, in and out. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Damn. Your shit. I don't want to bounce it off. Damn. It is. Okay. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Get a... Oh, it wasn't a bad idea. I had the right idea. I just, I think I needed the uh, better stroke. Yeah, go for the harder ball and then the easy one. Oh, 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 no. But yeah, that's actually a good way to do it, strategy-wise. Go for the harder shot first, and then go for the easier one. It's easier that way. the right idea. I'll go for that yeah. corner pocket because we'll just be, yeah. He was gonna definitely get that one. 100%. Next one, though. Go either way. Now, this one's a long shot, so... He could get it, he could miss. GG. That was a good game. That was so good, I want to challenge him again because it was so close. That was a good game. That was solid. <laughs> solid game. Only because it was so good. Let's do nine ball. That was so close. I love it. All right. Don't care. Whatever. Let's go. Let's 
guy likes to go from the side. Wow. Okay. I mean, he lined it up for me, so... Uh, let's have at it. No! Yes. How is he gonna do it? I wanna, I wanna see how he's gonna do it. What angle? What angle? Interesting. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was kind of hoping he was gonna go on the, uh... Oh, really? Okay. I was kind of hoping he was gonna go on the other side. Because the other side's, like, pretty blocked, so it's like... Why? Why? Ooh, the three balls looking pretty good. <sighs> Crap, in and out. Did I line it up for him, or is that eight ball a little too close? Shoot it off the wall like this. Where's the four ball? Still looking good. It is. Something like that? As long as I can keep my shot straight and not, like, veer off to the side, it's pretty solid. I don't know why, I'm just kind of... Banking them a little bit. Maybe? Go for it. See what happens. Nailed it, but I pocketed my own. Scratched. It's all about that last ball. Oh god, I may have set it up for him. Yeah, I think I set it up. GG, it's over. I set it up for him. <laughs> I did all the work and set it up for the last. Yeah, I hate to see it. You hate to see it. All right, GG. Um, you know what? Screw it. Let's go ahead and just play a game of darts. One in the stream, officially, entirely. I'm trying to think. To think. Yeah, I don't think there is anything else. Start a new card. Can I just play darts, please?
Yeah, I don't think there is anything else stream-wise I gotta bring up, talk about. Somehow, I won my last game. So, cross my fingers on this, huh? Yeah, how well I do. Purple 18. I don't know if I'm going to get it. <sighs> Somehow I won. Don't know how I did it, but I won. Good G. Good, good, good G. All right. You know what? I'm gonna pay for it. I'm gonna pay for my freaking pool game. Then and then, this is this is the last of the last of the finale of the finale of the last. I'm telling you. And we're gonna do eight ball. This, this is the last of the last. I'm telling you. Not addicted.
Ooh, I get a break. You could hit. Go for that. I know, it surprises me too. Somehow my thing just went right to a corner. I was like, wait, what's this? Well, I got two up, so good at the moment. I did notice some of the stripes are kind of lined up. Oh, I did notice the stripes are kind of lined up pretty good. Okay. Now all of a sudden I feel like a bot because I started switching to... All of this. a scratch. Well, foul, because I knocked in his. So far, so good. I'm happy. I was going to say, he needs to be careful with that shot, because he's hitting mine, too. I don't know which one he hit first. Damn it. Oh, I kept it in. I thought that I thought that was yeah. I thought that was gonna be bad. I still can't go for my five ball though. For something, damn it. I don't know about that one. Oh, I saw what you were doing. Wow. If he nailed it, a double. If he would have nailed that shot, I would give up now. But, he doesn't know. I might? Ah, oh, crap. 
Wow. Get your trash out of here, dude. I got so it's everywhere. There. Get rid of it now, please. It's messing up my game. I don't think so. That shot? Sure. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah. But now here's this next one. If I hit it this way... Maybe? Go for it. Ooh, I have it set up for the next shot. So that's good. Uh oh, uh oh. That ain't good. That ain't good. <laughs> if he keeps it in play. He doesn't. Doesn't keep it in play. Meanwhile, hey, Kanji. Hachibango. If I get this, we're good. Okay, that made me feel a little bit better. I at least won something, right? I took two losses before, but I won this one. 61%, pretty good. Alright, let's end the stream. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, this was a lot of fun. I like playing pool. I don't know why. It's just relaxing to me. I think it's because I really want... I, I have played it in real life. But it's been, like, so few. And it's like... It's just a fun game to play. But it kind of costs money a little bit. Because not everywhere has pool and might cost money to do it. Or it probably costs money to get the pool table and all that stuff. So Anyway, um, with that, I want to thank everybody for showing up to the stream. Um... This was fun. This was awesome. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. This was great. Uh, XYZ, thank you for showing up. Uh, also do want to thank Han as well. Uh, I don't think there's any plans in particular. Um, pretty sure Wednesday is going to be our next stream. Yes, Wednesday is going to be our next stream. Next week... I'll see how I feel on Monday, but I'm thinking either Monday or Thursday, I think we'll go on ahead and we will do pretty much like a non-stop, uh, we'll, we'll just keep streaming every single day, I think, uh, until the end of the month. So yeah, I think, I think that would be the game plan. I think that would be the game plan. Uh, but then again, also for next week, um, on Saturday, we'll be doing a podcast. Uh, Dark will be hosting, I think. Yeah, I think Dark is going to host next 
podcast. So, yeah, yeah, he will he will be hosting. So, but that will be next week. We'll see what happens there. And yeah, other than that, it's been awesome hanging out with you guys. Yakuza continues on Wednesday. Next stream. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else in particular uh, to think of, so. Yeah. I should specifically say Yakuza 5 continues, but I think you guys get it. Um, yeah, uh, I don't think there's anything else. Uh, we're going to be doing a podcast next week. So, but that will be next week, so we don't have to worry about this week. Um, yeah, next stream will be on Wednesday, and if anything changes, anything happens, I'll let you guys know on Twitter and Discord to the best of my ability. And yeah. I think that's it. So, love you all. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. Uh, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday for another stream. Born to lose, live to win. Love you all. I'll see you guys on Wednesday for some more Yakuza 5. Alright guys, I'm out. Later. <laughs>